Hi boys and girls, today's lesson is based on one of my favourite children's books. It's called The Rainbow Fish by Marcus the Fister. And it is one in a collection of Rainbow Fish books. You might have read some of them. And I love these illustrations. Look at the beautiful blends of blues and greens using watercolour paints and not to mention this little fish with all these sparkling scales. So this book has a really beautiful message as well. It raises kind of questions about selfishness and the importance of sharing because this fish is quite vain. He thinks he is the most gorgeous fish in all the land and he wonders if he could ever be happy if he was to share his sparkling scales. And so he actually does end up sharing his scales. You can see here, he's sharing his little sparkling scales and he becomes incredibly happy. So it's just a beautiful book to look at and I love all of the collection. You might have some at home already. And we are going to create our own rainbow fish artwork today. So we are gonna use oil pastels, watercolors, and you can see my fish scales are a little reflective. That's because I've used foil. You can use anything sparkly like glitter um, or sequins to give a little kind of sparkle to your fish today. Now, if you don't have this already, you can head over to the website and download your free art pack because we have a fun drawing guide that might be helpful in today's lesson. So let's get started. So I've got my paper wide in a landscape position and I'm gonna put my fish in the middle and I'm gonna make it really big. And my fish is either gonna go down towards the bottom of the ocean, it could even go up or straight. So you can decide what angle you wanna draw your fish. Mine's gonna be going down towards the bottom of the ocean. So I'm going to start with a circle for the eye and then just another circle around it. And then I'm going to do the body of the fish and I like to just kind of do that with my um, finger first. And I'm going to start it out here and I'm going to go up, up, up and down, down, down. I've got like a half moon curve. Then I'm gonna come around and do the same shape at the bottom. So we're gonna make that big curve come up. And just here, I'm gonna draw a few little, just a little lip there for my fish. So now I have the body. Let's put a fin on the top. So from the very top curve, I'm going to come up and back down to do a fin and let's move around and do a tail. Tails can kind of come up to the corner direction of your page. So I've got one part of the tail with a nice curve, wiggly line coming back. And then finally two fins at the bottom. So I know the and the shape of my rainbow fish has two fins at the bottom as well. All right, so it's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to add some details on my fish. I'm going to create a curve line from the top to the bottom, just to indicate the head of the fish separate from the body. And that's going to help me now put a fin. And that's going to look like a straight line. It comes down and then we're going to go back towards that line here. So now you have some options. You can either put some scales on your fish. You could do stripes. You could do dots. I'm going to put some scales. They're similar to the rainbow fish kind of scales. So I'm going to do lots of half moon shapes all over the body. And then I'm going to put some strokes on my fins. 
and these can just be a few because at the end of this project I'm going to show you how we can add some more detail colours after painting. So let's add a few strokes to our bins. Fish is finished. So now we're going to grab a different colour oil pastel or crayon. I'm going to have some oil. And I am going to create some kind of rocks and sand at the bottom of my page. So the first one will start at the edge, the left hand side edge. And I'm going to create a wiggly line almost towards the middle or just, just about the middle. There we go. Now this is going to be a rock or sand. And now because I have space, I'm going to create another layer of a rock or sand behind. So wiggling, 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 kind of towards the middle. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side, but maybe I'm, I'm going to grab like a different colour this time, some yellow, because this can be sand. And one that's a little bit higher. So now I've created the base of my C coming towards the centre here. Now I'm going to grab a different colour oil pastel and it's fun to put different seaweed and coral all around the bottom of my page. So I'm going to use this template which is part of that free download activity pack for some inspiration. So let's start over here and you guys can have fun with any kind of shapes, different seaweed and coral. I'm going to put this sort of funny curve looking coral shape here and maybe I'll do a sort of similar smaller one next to it. Under the sea coral can be really any sort of shapes that you like and look I can just add a few little detailed spots. Put something quite long up here. So this one is going to go with some wavy lines like this and then I'm going to copy that wavy line back and I'm going to do quite a few of those wavy wavy almost to the top of my page but not quite and it's going to come back and it's really nice when they can touch here at the at the base This is a great trick as well. The sand is always very kind of bumpy, so I'm going to put some bumpy lines with my yellow. And what's great with this oil pastel is when we paint over the top with our watercolour, you will still be able to see all these vibrant colours. Dip our paintbrush into the water. And we're going to wake up our paint and we're going to do that by wetting our brush and spinning it around inside my little paint palette and I'm going to now start with the body of my fish so you can see as I'm painting you can still see really clearly all of those black oil pastel marks coming through that's what I just love so much about using watercolor and oil pastel together so my fish is going to be a bit of a mixture between pink and purple. So I'm going to wash out my brush in between using a different colour. So let's go ahead and paint our fish.
So what I want you to do is to grab a color and I'm going to use blue, but you definitely don't have to use blue just because it's a sea. It could be purple, it could even be green. And what we're going to start at the top of our page is some nice wavy watery strokes. So we need to make sure that our paintbrush has got a nice amount of kind of liquid water so we create really smooth, beautiful lines at the top. If your paintbrush uh, marks are kind of scratchy or hairy, just means that you need to put a little bit more water on your brush. So once we have done a few of these wavy lines in whatever color you have chosen, then we are going to start creating a solid color underneath that. So you can begin that probably after you've painted some lines on the top third of your page. And when we create the C, I'm going to take my paintbrush around the edge of my fish or around the edge of my seaweed, just like we did with the rocks. And then we fill in the space in between. So we need to work quite quickly to create a really smooth color for that. So let's have a go at finishing off our seat and then we have a few details to add at the end. Now this is my favorite part of the project. We're going to add some details and I'm going to use these Faber-Castell gel crayons. But you guys can pull out your oil pastels or the crayons that you were using before. And the first thing I'm going to do is take my black and go over any of the lines of my fish that are not as kind of strong anymore. Now these little strokes around the fish can um, sort of indicate that he's maybe swished his tail and they're like ripples in the ocean. So we'll add a few little strokes around his tail and around his fins here. You could go on and on, I'm having so much fun. All right, now we are going to add some sparkles, just like the example of our rainbow fish some sparkles on the scales and we're going to do that with some foil. Pair this into a sort of scale shape and see if it might fit. That looks pretty good. I'm going to grab some glue and I'm going to add a few kind of reflective foil scales to my fish. Let's see. 